<laughs> hey, Renee. Hi, Annette. Okay, so we were starting a conversation and I decided really quick, you know what, let's put this on video because I think there's value to where we're going with this conversation. And it yes. has to do with, we see people who get on the right path and start going towards growth and healing, even ourselves, that can happen. And then all of a sudden, they go back to the same stuff that they were doing before, little by little, and then they just go in even deeper. And I guess my thought was, um, and you were talking about how frustrating it was and how sad and grieving it is for you. And my thought was, um, I got a five-year-old granddaughter and she is the best, but I tell you, uh, she will find things that are on the ground that I know are yucky, full of germs, trash, you name it, whatever it is. And she'll come upon it and look at it as shiny, cool, and she wants to pick it up and hold it, maybe even taste it, who knows? That type of thing and so first thing wait 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 don't do don't pick it up don't 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 do it so that comes out of my mouth right yeah yeah so i'm saying stop hold don't 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 do it type situation well that's because i know where that let's say it was a piece of gum it's still in a wrapper but it's been on the ground for a while it's dusty i know that it's not clean it's not good enough for her to put it in her mouth and she sees it as, wow, there's a chunk of gum in a little wrapper. It, look, Grandma, it's got a wrapper on it, though, still. And I see it dirty or whatever. And she wants to pick that thing up and have gum. But I know, I know, like God knows. He knows where it's originating from. He knows where the temptation is coming from. He knows that it's dirty. He knows it's sin. He knows it's wrong. And so he's saying, wait, 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 Annette. Don't touch it. You have an issue with this. And wait, 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 Annette. I know. And so he's speaking to the Holy Spirit that's inside of me. And I need to heed to that. And your friends or whoever we're working with, they're not listening to the wait, wait, wait. Don't pick that up. Yeah. Don't you remember? You fell last time because of this. And his loving words to us, wait, wait, it's the same as me. I'm trying to protect my granddaughter. I don't want her to get sick by putting this piece of yucky gum in her mouth. Right. <laughs> I know the dirt and disgust that's in that and where it comes from. And it's out of love that we should say no. No, thank you. No, whatever it is. It can be difficult when you are you are the friend seeing the other that's wanting to do that pickup, you know? It it's is. Simple, simple as like where to move, just decisions that they're trying to make, like where to move or what to put my money into or how do I go out this weekend and have fun? You have fun. <laughs> and it's easy as the friend or the discipler to just say, are you crazy? Why would you even step into that? I mean, you know, what you're talking about with, well, we see it. We see where it came from. And so with a friend, let's just say they have an opportunity to go to a festival. We'll just call it that. A festival and we know what their past <clears throat> weaknesses are with trail. <laughs> and we know that festivals could be their place where it was kind of like roaming ground and hooking up ground or whatever you want to call it. So we already knew that that was temptation ground. And why would they put themselves back into that situation where they're going to get themselves in trouble again? <laughs> what did you say? Well, you understood perfectly when I told you about my five-year-old granddaughter and the candy or gum on the ground, right? You were able to relate to it, correct? Yeah. And so I'm able to use that story with those I'm working with and say, just so you know, there's something inside of me that there's a caution and it's like, and then I can go through the process of my granddaughter yeah. and say, 
we know that it's a big temptation, let's say if it's drinking too much and they get drunk, that you have had a problem, an issue with alcohol. And because of that, there's this part of me that's saying, I know where that's coming from, where mm-hmm. you want to go and you're going to go to this party and everybody there usually gets drunk. And this is just a setup. And I'm saying, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You don't realize yeah. you're, you're not seeing the dark in it. I see the germs, disease, the, the other, and you're not seeing that in the same thing realm with the alcohol. This is Satan taking a step to pull you in, to draw you in so that you'll go ahead and fall into sin that way wise. Does that make yeah. sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's a better way for me to do than flying off the handle. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If I respond, if I respond big time emotionally, they all of a sudden will shut down and can't hear me fully because yeah. they're in protection ro- mode. But yeah. if I can, can tell them a story that? about my granddaughter and how it's because I love her that I'm trying to protect her from putting a germy piece of whatever come in her mouth then they can go ahead and okay you're bringing this up because you love me you're bringing this up because you know i will overeat and so you're just bringing this up because it becomes an issue with me and then i end up having to go into where i'm tempted to go ahead and throw everything up afterwards it's one of those things and you're seeing it ahead of time saying, don't you see it? I can see how filthy it is, but you could only see it as, look at all this food I get to enjoy. I don't ever get this kind of dessert anywhere else. And so I want the whole pie, not just the half a pie. And then afterwards you're in the bathroom throwing it up. But they couldn't see that. They could only see the pie. The shiny object. The shi- just like the granddaughter, the shiny object. And of course, reached out to pick it up. And I'm able to see the bathroom and them throwing up at the end. And God can see that. And so he tries to say, and then, and then, and then, wait, 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 Annette, hold on, hold on. And I got to <laughs> heed that when I feel it in my spirit about things that I do in life. Not just our friends, not it's just, not just others, friends. it's ourselves as well. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. There's something shiny that will dangle in front of us or a carrot, and we think that that could be, you know, the easy answer. There's there's different things we're looking for answers to, and that can become a temptation as well. Yes. And with the Holy Spirit in our life, with the relationship with Christ giving us that Holy Spirit we can start recognizing that those hints. Yes, it basically turns a full light on the subject. Yeah. Because they couldn't see the full picture. Now a big bright light was on it and they could see the end of possibility. And now they could make a great decision. Do I want that? But now they can make a better decision. Because when I explained to my granddaughter, it will make you sick. There's a chance this will make you very sick and you'll be throwing up and the other, oh, she didn't even want to pick up the gum now. She knows what it's like to throw up. She knows what it's like to get sick. She didn't want it. It's dirty. But sometimes we need that wise counsel in our life. Yes. Like a wise spouse or a wise counsel of a friend, a godly friend, you know, who can... I'll call it see our blind spots and see, hear from the Lord as well. <laughs> Point those things out. Yeah. Recognize those things. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm glad we went ahead and made a mini video on it. <laughs> yeah. Watch the shiny objects, folks. <laughs> Watch for the shiny objects. <laughs> and check with your spirit. What is Jesus saying? <laughs> yes. All mm-hmm. right. Talk to you later.